guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth and today's video is going to be about how I successfully rebranded my photography business. Back in October of 2018, I transitioned into a full-time photographer and I decided that a great thing for me to do to uh, help solidify that transition was to rebrand my business. Up until I rebranded, I feel like my name was just very average. It was just using my initials, slapping photography at the end, and then that was it. I never put much thought into my name. I had never done anything really to make it stand out. I never really focused on what my brand was. And that's all so important if you're going to do it full time. And so once I decided that I was going to do it full time, I knew that I needed to do something to make myself stand out a little bit more. This is my first full year of being a full-time photographer and so obviously I'm still learning a lot about making sure that my brand is like a whole thing and not just like ideas in my head but I'm a heck of a lot farther along on it than I used to be. So when I went through and rebranded I knew I needed a name that would stand out, that would mean a lot, that would have emotions behind it so that people could connect with it and I needed to wrap my new brand around everything that my photography included. So like my brand was all of a sudden what inspired my new website, my new Instagram feed, you know, everything on my Facebook page, the pricing sheets for the weddings I sent out to my clients. I had to have something that really showed that no matter where you viewed my business or what you saw in it, it was all the same. So what did I do? When I knew I wanted to start rebranding, I had to think about the name. And so when I chose the name, I guess I'll go into explaining it because I never told my YouTube channel. I kind of made a big deal about it on my business platforms but never on my personal YouTube channel. So I'll go over the name with you guys. I have this here. Uh, my cousin actually made me this. It's my logo. I designed my logo myself because every time I reached out to someone to ask them to design something for me that would fit my vision, it always came back and I was disappointed. And so I just sat down and was like, what would you like to see? And I just made it myself. This is my logo. This is my business name. My business is Dime and Z Studios LLC. I am an LLC now, quite exciting. <laughs> but a lot of people are like, Diamond Z, that's so random, where did you get that? And so I'm gonna go over kind of everything about how I was inspired to do this. And so for rebranding, I knew that when I picked a new name, I did not want it to have the word photography in it because I do a lot of stuff with videos with YouTube, I work with other companies. You know, I didn't want to limit my personal business to something that was just photos if eventually I want to get into videography for weddings or events or really anything. So the, the first word that I chose for my rebrand was studio instead of photography. The second word that I actually chose was Z, Z-E-E. -E. The reason that I chose the Z is because I wanted to rebrand into something that was inspired by my mom. She passed away in October and she was the one person in the world who was always like, Elizabeth, you need to pursue this passion. You are good enough to make this work. You could be incredible if you just put everything you had into it. And so once she passed away, I was like, I have no one else who's gonna be like, this is what you want to do. This is what you have to do. You should just do it. And so I was like, if I'm gonna do this for myself in this, heat of an emotional moment and decide to go full-time, which I did film a video about going full-time. If you missed it, it's linked up here. But in the heart of that, I was like, I need something with my business name that reminds me to go and chase my dreams and chase my passions and that it's not always going to be easy, but it's going to be worth it. And so my mom's actual name, um, she didn't go by it, but her actual name was Mitzi, her first name, which has a Z in it. My name is Elizabeth and I also have a Z in my name. No one else in my family has Z's in their name and so just going along with what our names both have, I decided to go with a Z-E-E -E, just because I like that more than the letter Z. At first I was going to stop there but then I realized Z Studios or Studio Z, all of that has already been taken and I was like I don't even really love that. I need something more unique. And so I was trying to incorporate a lot of stuff with like Mitzi's memorable moments or you know, just incorporating her name in other ways. I didn't like anything. And so one day 
I literally kid you not, I have a voice recording, I won't put it in here because it's pretty emotional, but I have a voice recording to prove it. Um, one day I was literally driving down the road and I was like, man, I need to think of a new name because I need to rebrand. I was going to announce my rebrand on my birthday, but I'll get into that in a second. I was like, I'm down to crunch time now. I need to rebrand. So I was driving down the road and I was listening to the radio and I was like, the next song that comes on, that song is going to be the song that inspires me to pick a new name and something's going to stick out at me and I'm going to like know before I even get to my destination, I'm going to know what my new brand is going to be called. Weirdest thing in the world, I tell you. But the next song that happened to come on was High Hopes by Panic of the Disco. For those of you who haven't been watching my channel for very long, that is a song that meant a lot to me because it talks about like mama said don't give up and all of this sort of thing and it came out right about the time that she passed away. So that song just kind of like meant a lot to me because you know it's like mom says don't get up, give up and you can do this and you have to do this and all of this and so that song meant a lot to me. We'll leave that point like right here for a second and go over here. I know I talked about this in my other videos as well but right before my mom went missing she kept finding dimes everywhere so much that she googled what it meant to keep finding dimes and Google told her that when you find a lot of dimes that you don't really have a reason for finding them it kind of means that people who have passed away are trying to communicate with you and so she was like oh you know that's kind of cool whatever didn't think much of anything of it and so she told my sister that and then my sister ended up telling us that when we were cleaning out my mom's house and we found dimes everywhere. Like, so many dimes. And so dimes have kind of been special for us since then. And when David and I moved into our new house, I walked in the first day we got the key and there was a dime laying in the kitchen and then a dime laying in our bedroom. And so I was like, wow, that's so special. But anyway, that's where the word dime comes in, but it didn't solidify in my mind until listening to, we're getting our point from over here back, <laughs> The Panic of the Disco, it said, I didn't have a dime, but I always had a vision. And I'm like, yes, that's my life. I have a whole vision of what I want this to be. I'm not there yet. It's not over. You know, we haven't made it yet, but I'm getting there. And so that's how the name came about, Diamond Z Studios. So it has that emotional connection for me. I really love it. Very unique. <laughs> it's the only one out there. But to go about a successful rebranding, this is what I want to talk about. When I decided I wanted to rebrand, I started going through and designing my logo, designing my website, kind of tweaking my editing style a little bit. I wanted dark and moody, but also vibrant and lots of emotion packed into it. And I took all these key words and I started you know, adding them into places on my website and using those words as inspiration and kind of getting everything ready from like a behind the scenes perspective first. So the very first thing that I did was launch my new website. It had my new colors on it, which were like a cream and a dark, like a foresty green and then like a dark brown. So moody, natural, candid, all of that. Once I had my website done, I published it because that got people's attention. You know, oh, I have a new website, here it is. Everything on the website was my old name. Everything on there. And I just said, this is a hint for what's coming in the future. I'm so excited for it. I finally finished redesigning my website. So I just changed everything on the website without changing the domain or the actual name. In reality, I know that I didn't change the name because I had paid for that domain for another like four months and I didn't want to use it yet. <laughs> Like, I didn't want to pay for a new one yet, but I had my colors down, and that started the process of the rebrand. My birthday is on March 22nd, and I took this as an opportunity. I was like, honestly, I wasn't ready to rebrand on January 1st. Like, a lot of people rebrand, and I didn't want to wait until the middle of the year. So, like, June, July, when a lot of people rebrand if they're waiting until, like, six months into the year or whatever. So, I made my own timeline, and I decided I was going to launch my new brand on my birthday. I wanted it to be exciting and special and I wanted to get people involved. So on March 1st, I started a countdown on my social medias. I said, hey everyone, I'm so excited. I'm going to be rebranding. I'm announcing it today. Um, I'm not telling you the name, but for the next 22 days, I'm gonna be dropping hints with my new brand, my new name, my new logo, what went into it, the story behind it, everything like that. So from March 1st to March 22nd, every single day, I posted on my Instagram with a new hint, um, a new fun fact about it, how I came 
about it, how I was inspired, what this new brand means, that I'm shifting from families and babies to weddings and boudoir and all sorts of stuff. As crazy as it sounds, that was so key to a successful rebrand for my business. Instead of just dropping it randomly one day like, oh, here's my new name, no warning whatsoever, I was able to get people excited. I had people messaging me that I had never even worked with and said, oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this rebrand. I can't wait to see what the name is. I can't wait to see the logo, all of this stuff. Um, the day that I announced for my birthday, I got on Facebook Live early that morning and I said, hey, the night before actually I announced that you know, here's the time um, that I'm going to be doing a Facebook Live tomorrow morning. If you're interested, get on Facebook and watch my rebrand. And I got on Facebook Live the next morning and I did, you know, here's my new brand. Here's my new logo. Here's the new name. Here's the full story behind it. And I had people like excited to see it commenting on the video a lot of people loved the emotional connection behind it it was great like i loved it a lot of people don't interact with social medias by like commenting and saying a lot of things unless they feel like they're involved in the process i feel like and so i had a lot of engagement when i was announcing that it was great perfect for the business. As for a legal standpoint for the business, I had to go through and register the name, fill out paperwork for the LLC, um, business bank account, all of that fun, exciting stuff. I have had a lot of people ask me to go into that exactly how I started. Um, I'm not going to do that though because it dramatically changes depending on what country or if you're in America, what state you live in for how your rules and regulations for uh, registering registering your business work that's a short Google search away for you they usually have a nice checklist for you at least Ohio does Ohio has a nice little checklist that you can print off and go through and get everything situated so that's kind of the story of how I rebranded my photography business successfully how I got people involved in it and you know how I chose my new name if you're going to be rebranding make sure that you let people know so they're not confused when they see your social medias all of a sudden change or your website that they can't get to anymore because it's now different. Um, be sure that you announce it and be sure that you pick a name that has a lot of meaning to you. You don't want something that's very boring. You know, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you are enjoying all of these photography videos that I've had coming out recently. If you have any requests for any other videos, be sure to comment down below. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!